This is Morgan Hazelwood, back again with more writing tips and writerly musings. Today, I'm here to share with you a love story. The titular panel was the second of the Imaginarium 2021 panels that I was able to attend. The panelists were Chastity Bolin, Missy Goodman, David Sims, Jessica Caldwell, Kathy Jackson, and Selena J. with Dee Dee Cox as the moderator. The panel description was short and to the point. Join in on a discussion with several romance writers and discuss how to write an enchanting love story that is fresh and will leave your readers wanting more. While the conversation wandered a bit, I managed to collect a few takeaways to share. First, three things that inspire romance writers. Of course, this list is far from complete, but these three did come up more than once. First, for watching soap operas with a mother or grandmother mostly. Secondly, the desire for characters that look like the writer that they wanted representation of themselves in what they read. And thirdly, that desire for the happily ever after, knowing when you pick up the book that there will be an ending and it will be satisfying and predictable and just lovely. <laughs> um, next, we talked about the three main components of the romance novel. Most people are rather familiar with these, but let's list them out anyway. First off, the introduction and establishment of the characters. Secondly, the fight. And finally, that happily ever after or at least happy for the resolution. Many of the writers also shared writing techniques and tips that worked for them. Uh, one of the writers likes to start from the end and plot backwards. With a romance, you always know where you're going to end up. Second tip was use something true from your life. Obviously, you don't want very sues and things like that, but that doesn't mean you can't take something from your life and view it into the story and to give that little pinch of realism. The third writing technique tip was remember it's fiction. Make shit up. And finally, if you want to get those stories out, write like it's do or die. During the discussion, uh, we also discussed a reference link uh, known as the 12 stages of intimacy. I'll link it below. Well, none of the writers on the panel used this list explicitly. A few agreed it was not a bad starting point for research. Originally from Desmond Morris. Now, when writing romance or adding romance to your works, Remember to manage expectations. Romance readers expect different pacing and plot points and priorities than other genres. If you market your story to the wrong audience, you'll end up with only one-star reviews. And remember, it's not romance until you give your readers that moment of gasp. Maybe that moment of chew. Depends how sweet your romances are. So hopefully these tips can help you think about adding romance to your stories. Let me know if there are any major tips we missed during our rambling discussion. And that's all for today. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button and share it with all your friends. It goes a long way towards helping people find me. And I'll be back again next Monday with more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.